Alright guys, we just made it out here to the jetty. It's a little bit windy out, hopefully it's not messing up the audio too bad. Definitely is. Um, probably is. But water looks perfect. So hopefully you can hear me, hopefully the audio is not all screwed up. Let's get after this. We are out here, I'm ready to go. Got my, I mean I'm wrapping a little bit uglier. But we got the white curly tail, a little bit of squid tied to it. One ounce jig head on that one. Let's see what the one ounce does. So right now the current is charging past us. Basically I'll throw my lure all the way across, you know, to nine o'clock or so. And it makes it all the way back over here to my three o'clock by the time I get to jig it in. Um, but once the tide comes in farther, it's gonna slow it on down. And that's the money spot. When you hit that uh, slack tide, right at high tide, low tide, slack tide, perfect. And you can control your jig more, pretty much. Oh yeah. Yeah, dude, what do you think? Gotta be happy with that. That beautiful little striped bass. Look at this fish Sager just got. Look at this chrome beauty. This one's going home with us too. That's a good beauty. That's gonna go great with our super thick New York steak. I'm Chris Blanchard. I'm Asher Ren. And you're watching the bike. Alright guys, so the main side of the, uh, the river was uh, charging a little bit too hard for now. The tide's coming in right now. Once the tide gets up, it'll be way more fishable. So for now, we're going to jump over here on the oyster bed side in front of these culverts here. Yeah, I'm just tying a shrimp tail on here. Way too much string, but boom. Oh yeah. Oh, cab is on. Yeah, a little cab. Look at this little guy. That's funny, I said I wanted a cabazon and I got myself a cabazon. He's uh, just a wee one. A little tiny cabazon. These guys, I think they open in June, but they gotta be quite a bit bigger than that. I think they even have to be, what, 20 inches I think it is? Something like that. Something a lot bigger. So this little baby, he's gonna go back. Here, let's try to get a little sunshine on him. You gotta see the colors of this guy. His, his, his jaw and stuff. Check out his spots underneath. He's got really cool colors. But yeah, they get way bigger. And there he goes. Just another species for the day. One of these beautiful little striped surf perch. Woo! Pretty, pretty little fish. One more species for the day. And get that back in the water. Bye, bud. So this side over here is like a perfect alternative when the uh, the river channel is just nasty and windy and charging hard. If it's really, really nasty out, you got that two to three hour window where it's slack tide, in between slack tide, a little bit before, a little bit after. But if you can't fish that side, just come over here with some sand shrimp. You're not gonna get the big giant lean cod, but you're definitely gonna be able to fill the freezer. There's tons of perch in here and I've caught a couple rock bass. Um, there's still a lot of fish over here. So yeah, it's perfect for kids too. You know, it's no wind over here. If we get up higher, like where Ryan's at up there, super, super windy. You uh, you probably heard it on the camera earlier, but down here, it's like tropical island down here. Warm, not windy. Oh, it's a quill bag. Well, now you can say you got one of those over here. Yep, Kovac rockfish on the triangle side. 
That's a beautiful that's, looking that's, fish. That's a rare catch right there. That is a pretty rare catch, huh? Beautiful. Damn, look at the quills on that thing. Look at you put your finger next to that thing. Look how big those things are. Right? Look how, whoa, look how chunky he is too. Look at those things. Those are going to be fat. Look at your face. Like it's beauty. That's probably what it is, Shad, huh? That is a decent fish. Biggest greenling I caught all day. Oh no, way, it's another thing, it's another quill. Really? Yeah. Check it. A little small one. How crazy is that? Maybe they're liking it in here. There's good quill fishery in here. We just didn't know. Another uh, small little quill back. Look at the spikes on that thing. That just looks scary. I thought it was a greenling at first, but then it was like too stout. That's a fish! Black rock bass! Nice little black rock bass. You can see it's a little different than the quillback I caught. They're real similar fish, but you know, different type of rock fish. The rock basses aren't nearly as uh, as raised in their quills. I think that he's probably gonna get thrown back in the ocean. He's like, you know, right on the verge. Might decide that he's an eater, but I think he's a little bit small. I'll go ahead and get a group consensus, but I think we're probably gonna let him go. Haven't caught too many yet though, so you know, that's borderline fish right there. How big we think that is? That's probably close to 12 inches. What do you think, Chris? So like I said, this side's a good alternative to the main river, but I really wanna fish that side. That's where the big fish are. This is kind of just child's play, really. Oh, oh, oh. God, that was a really good bite. You know what, you guys? Because of how good that bite was, I'm doing one more, one more bait over on this side. Cause that was a, that was a whammer. That was a whammer. That was a whammer. That was a whammer. Stripped me. Stripped me of my bites. swim bait into the deep water, see if I can't get into a big lean cod or um, a large rock fish or something like that. That seems to be the name of the game when you're out here on the jetty. But if that doesn't work, we'll come back over here, get into a decent sized rock fish and uh, maybe a monkey faced eel or a perch or something like that. So, you know, having fun doing the thing. Oregon Coast, you know what it is. We're fishing off the jetty. All right, we're back on the other side. It's super windy over here. So if you can't hear me, that's too bad, but I'm gonna set you down right here.
Pretty cool old pier that used to be out here. Wonder what year this thing was uh, partied on. Yeah, who knows? Early 19s for sure. The jetty can be a uh, pretty treacherous area. Before I trip out here, I'll get online and you know check out all the tides and all the uh, and all the cams of the jetty itself. Back in 09, I was out here with a buddy and a wave went over these rocks and uh, swept me off. And yeah, I had to swim back and lost, I think five fishing rods. It could take you basically. You gotta be careful. You gotta have homie fishermen that are on point too. You know, it's, it's, yeah, it's cool. important to know who you're with and what they can, are capable of. People do die out here. Every year, the Oregon coast claims several lives. Today is not one of those treacherous days. As you can see, it is beautiful out here the fluctuation in tide that we have out here um, pushes a lot of a lot of food around so the fish will stage along the rocks and ambush mode you know ready to hit any kind of prey that comes through it's important to time out the tiding it might start out a little slower but it'll pick up as the tide rolls in um, yeah let's uh let's stop here make this base camp zone and we will slay them the pacific northwest doesn't have a lot of of fish species for salt water to choose from really but uh you know the ones that we do have are they're really actually really cool looking you know a lot of spines a lot of teeth yeah that's a beautiful little greenling yeah check out the colors on that thing so look he just barely lipped underneath there just a beauty and you see these in a bunch of different colors. This one's like brown with green spots, but you'll see them with green with brown spots. I've seen purple with blue spots. We caught one the other blue day that mouth, was bright, like... bright yellow. The whole thing was bright yellow, canary yellow. It was pretty wild. Beautiful little fish. And these are good eating too. We're gonna let this one go, but um, you can see that right there's got, you know, a couple of fish tacos on it. <laughs> there you go, little bud. Come on. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. It's an eel. We got an eel. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Wait till you see this creature. Look at this thing. Wait till you see this guy. They don't get uglier. Well, I guess it depends on who you're talking about. You know, here. so this this thing is so slippery <laughs> that it's going to be a real pain in the ass. As you can see, he looks like an eel. He acts like an eel, but he's not an eel. He's actually a different type of rockfish. Wait till you see, these guys are so, I can't even grab them. He's so slippery, it's not even funny. These you know? things are really hardy. I don't know. I don't know if there's a gnarlier if there's fish. A, if there's a gnarlier fish, this can survive out of the water for 36 to 48 hours. They've got a super gnarly mouth full of teeth right there, which is why I gloved up. Right. You know, and they've got a really strong bite really strong too. Jaw. So I'm gonna be careful when I get my thumb in his mouth here, because. All right, let's let this guy go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get down here in the actual water with him. I'm gonna pick him up over the edge and he's gonna slip on through. Boom. Goodbye. All right. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Uh, let's get another one. Tide's getting better. Um, in the uh, main ocean, so let's uh, let's jump over there and see what kind of damage we can do. That's a good fish. Ash has got something decent. Get him up out of them rocks. That's a ling. Nice ling, nice ling brother. Beautiful ling, God. Oh. Beauty. Oh. Nice greeny right there. So take the strip and we're gonna hook it in, leaving like a decent little flap kind of above. We could even go 
like right there, just so we know we have a little bit of a flap above it. And then once we get it through here, we're gonna actually just pull it all the way through like that, and then run this hook up the inside of this squid so that all of the red of that hook gets hidden away. Nice. And then we're gonna take the line and just do a light little loop over Around this little top. top. You know, you can see that loop, it's not even a knot. You just bring right. it in like that, do a little loop over the top of this squid, and then pull that up like that. And that's gonna tighten that squid on there so that it's gonna stay dangling like that. That's perfect. All right, big link. Hey, just bring that net over when you come back. It might help out. There's a fish. Good fish, yeah, sure. Oh! How's it feel? Oh yeah, that's another. Not as big. Probably like a. 18, 20 incher. There's on today. We're gonna talk. Let that one grow. Beauty. But he's real pretty. Beautiful, beautiful. Next time we catch him, he's gonna be twice that yeah, size. Well, you get a little bit bigger and we'll catch you again next time. Right? right? Boom. How's that one feel? Oh, buddy, you better get down somewhere. Let's uh, let's go right here. Oh yeah. Hey, I'm good. Wow, look at the color of this beauty. Wait till you guys see this fish. This is the other color. Look at the neon blue on that thing. That is beautiful. Wow, that's dude. A, that's a bright blue. Oh, look at the color. I just can't get over it. Look at how blue the bottom side of this is. Just right neon. Down. He looks tropical, but he's in the Northwest. It's crazy. So let's give this another shot. Yeah, we got a couple nice fish on so far. It seems like every cast you're getting a good takedown. Uh, whether they take the bait or wrap you up into some rocks, you know. So uh, here we go. good. Yeah, baby. That's a good fish. I'm going to go get the net. Yeah, buddy. That's the biggest thing I've ever caught, Asher. Yeah, biggest, baby. biggest thing I've ever caught, baby. <sighs> Look at that thing. Look at that. Uh, yeah. Woo! So of course, look at the teeth on that guy. You gotta watch out for that. It's a beautiful, beautiful fish. Teeth, teeth, teeth for days. I would not want to be a bait fish down there with this thing. There we go. He's He's in the rocks, but he's coming out. Oh, it's Neil. Another monkey face. Monkey face, yeah, baby. Look at that. I'm just gonna shake him right off. All right, so, as you can see, these things are ugly. Look at that. Wow, dude. So yeah, we're in a new spot here. We got some snacks. Asher's eating his chips. See if we can't get another ling. Um, we need one more to finish our day out of keeper ling cod. Here we go. So this is what we call a staghorn. These, uh, these got these gnarly little, little horns that stick up. And man, if those get you, you're gonna be sore tomorrow. We got some they are funny looking. Got a 
behind that right there? Oh, buddy. Hang on, let me get in the middle. She's barely hooked. Here, right after. That's a ling right there. Hold that one up. Oh! Yeah, just bounce it. Beauty, man. Beauty. That might be my PB. It's at least, it's at least like tied. All this stuff that we're using for our bait and garbage and trash and you know pieces of line. We like to pick that stuff up, man. Throw in the trash. Don't make somebody else do it. Yeah, nobody wants their trash in the ocean, so clean that up. Your mom don't live here. What's up, guys? So it's pretty brutal out here today. Wind's probably gusting at least 25 miles an hour, right in our face. We, uh, you did see us catching fish over here on the oyster bed side, but over here in the river behind me, where it's super choppy and nasty, we haven't hooked nothing. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little throwback of Ash's blue link cod and all the monkey face deals and the rest of the link cod that day. Last. Well, that day is not today. So we're going to get out of here and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Peace. It's not a game, it's a red stick.